Okay, first go ahead and type in ngrock and it will show you a result like this. Click on this and this time you just go ahead and download it. Now in general you don't need to log in. You'd be able to download without log. And then let's go ahead and do login. So come to NGROC, this is the dashboard, and what you need to do, just go ahead and download it. After downloading it, you should go ahead and unzip it, and you are good to go. The basic setup over here, but uh, we don't need to worry about this one. Only thing you need to do, you need to go ahead and set it on your terminal, which I have already done. And that's it. Okay, so after that, make sure that you have a Node.js app. Now over here, I have a Node.js app. This is a Node.js chatting server. And over here, actually, the setup of this app is I'm running it on port 3000, okay? So the first thing you want to do, go ahead and open up a terminal. So actually, here I was running it earlier. So here you need to type in ngrock and HTTP, and then over here, you need to type in your port number. So my port number is 3000. So let's go ahead and hit enter. So it's gonna map this one. So over here, as you can see, localhost 3000 is this one. Let's go ahead and copy this. And after copying this, uh, well, wherever your server IP address you set, go ahead and change that place with the copied domain, the one that we have just copied. So let's put it here okay well my server was already running so anyway i'm going to do one more time npm start so with this the server would be listening on this port and now if we go and check over here we'll see that the connection is still persistent all right so that's the first thing now if you do have an app this is the time you go ahead and restart your app now my android app was running over here early and this is the app okay now with this chatting, actually we need uh, SSL or HTTPS, otherwise it's not going to work. And the beautiful thing about this is that, as you see, it comes with an HTTPS. So that's what we see that. Because most chatting app or the transaction app, they require you to use HTTPS. So with this, you get a free SSL or HTTPS. And that's it. Now, of course, this app is running over here. And then I'll be able to do a chat. So let's go ahead and do it. And we'll see over here. Um, we can say... So here we do say it went in there and at the same time we'll see that our server is up and running at the same time the connection is still persistent and that's the beauty so with ngrock you'd get free ssl which you can use it anywhere as long as your terminal is open you'd be able to use it from anywhere and that also means that you'd be able to access this domain from anywhere in the world